What up, what up, what up, Hype Squad? It's your boy Lucrecio coming at you with another video. And if you're new to the page, welcome to ExceedTheHype.com. To join the Hype Squad, all you got to do is click subscribe, all right? So we got a little bit of news today, especially for all you Philadelphia 76ers fans out there. We had a wash bomb earlier, and it stated that Markel Fultz had to have his shoulder drained earlier today. And that he literally, at this point, can't raise his arms to shoot the ball. So, anybody who was worried about... I've heard all kinds of stuff about Markel Fultz or whatever. Especially, like, since the season started. Since he'd been having his, his trouble shooting. Especially the free throw shooting. I've been hearing so much stuff about, like, he's screwing up his form because of bad coaching. And this and that and what's going on. And I understand a lot of fans probably didn't get to see him. I'm one of them didn't get to see him a whole lot at Washington State. So a lot of people are just wondering what's going on, especially when you see some of the other rookies, you know, having a like Josh Tatum or Jason Tatum, sorry, for one who seems to be having a easier transition, though it is early. All hope is not lost. Number one, it is bad because obviously – he is injured. He has a significant injury, maybe, that he may need to, that may require some serious, could be surgery, could be rehab or whatever. It just depends on the situation. He is seeing a specialist today for it. But it's not skill related. So I guess that's the silver lining to this. It's not that he just, you know, got to the NBA and he has some weird situation going on mentally where he can't shoot free throws or whatever it's literally an injury causing the bad form and the bad free throw shooting and all and all this and that it's a rough start from for Mr. Markel Fultz but I am glad for the Philly fans or whatever to get that that bit of information out there and hopefully you know it'll be something that, that can be rehabbed that does not require surgery. That way it's a quicker recovery time and we can see Markel Fultz at his full strength. All right. Well, let me know what you guys think about the news with Markel Fultz and his injured shoulder. Let me know if what you feel down below. If you enjoyed this content, go ahead and leave a like, a thumbs up, and as always, subscribe. All right. See you next time.